One very important uh, aspect of Homo style is not only the food. Uh, of course, the food is important and has to be good. But for me, what counts the most is when the audience interacts with these guys. So they actually have a name, a face. Because what hurts the most is giving, not giving a refugee, it's a real identity. My name is Shaza Sakar. I am Syrian. I was born in Damascus. So Homos Town is a cooperative which seeks to help Syrian refugees here in Rome to earn a steady income. And how do we do this? We meet up and we cook, we package our Syrian food and then we distribute it all around Rome. When the whole war broke out, I could not just... Uh, for the first few years I was just a you know, part of the audience being sad, crying, and uh, listening to my cousins um, cry. So it started pretty much naturally, I would say, together uh, with my uh, with Jumana, who is the Syrian chef. We we decided to do something, and this is what we came up with. And everything else just came in: the name, the logo. It just built up into what it is today. We were thinking about a name which had to be uh, Arabic to give the uh, connotation of a Syrian, uh, something Syrian, something people would have recognized right away, and made a bit international. So we came up with the name Humus Town. So Humus is, everybody knows what Humus is. And town is because it's not only about Humus. There's a lot of more things to add to the town, apart from Humus. So how do we decide on who to recruit in Humus Town? Well, we get calls from the different uh, NGOs here in Rome and uh, they pretty much know that we have jobs for Syrians. So we call them, we meet them, we ask them would you be interested in uh, participating in our project, whether you want to cook, prepare, distribute, serve. So we try to understand what they want to do and usually uh, they all want to help, they want to be part of it. Uh, doing anything and everything, so it's a pretty steady uh, way to do it. We meet them, we like them, they like us, and we start. ما كان نفكر إني أجي على روما أول شيء كان أحد السورية فاتت المشاكل ووضع المادي صار تعبان شوي فقررت إني أطلع على ليبيا طلعت على تركيا من تركيا طلعت على مصر رحت على ليبيا اشتغلت هنا. أنا أجيت لهون بسبب غير الأسباب الأخرى للشباب السوريين اللي معي أنا أجيت لهون بشكل شرعي وجيت بشكل نظامي علاج لابني أنا كان ابني عنده مرض فأجيت على الحكومة الإيطالية هي اللي جابتني مستشفى سان رافائيل بميلانو للعلاج. One very important uh, aspect of Homo Town is not only the food. Uh, of course, the food is important and it has to be good. But for me, what counts the most is when the audience interacts with these guys. So they actually have a name, a face. Because what hurts the most is giving, not giving a refugee, it's a real identity. <laughs> مصدر رزق له رزق لهم وعمل لهم انه يقدروا يطالعوا مصروفهم منه. تعرفنا على ناس جديده وصرنا نفرجي ايطاليا اني نحن كمان كنا عايشين هيك بسوريا وعندنا كذا وعندنا كذا عم نفرجيهم ثقافتنا حتى نحن واكلنا وشربنا ولبسنا. The person who came up with the idea is like me together with Jumana. So, and uh, with that came my brother-in-law, my sister. So it's, it, it was born by two people, but it was quickly nourished by so many other. So I don't like to give it an ownership. 
I, I think it's becoming everybody's project. Jumana, she's, she's been working with me for the past four years. We met through a common friend. Uh, and she, Jumana is not a refugee herself. However, I, I consider her one of them because all her family are refugees. So we also try through her to help her family, um, you know, gain some independence as well. هلا انا بل... هلا انا بحب كثير انا بحب انه يعني بحب عندي هوايه الطبخ بحب اطبخ بحب افوت على المطبخ فلما شزا اللي هي صاحبه مشروع حمستاون شافت انه انه يعني فيني هاي الهوايه بدي اقول انه يعني هلا نحن نحن اكلنا يعني الطبخ السوري خاصه بده شغل بده جهد انه بده شغل بده جهد بده تدقيق فيه تعب بس نحن هذا الشيء كله ما حاسين فيه لما بنقدم الاكل هيك طيبه للناس وبينبسطوا فيه فهذا نحن اللي بيفرحنا يعني بننسى التعب. So where does Humus Town cater? We have a number of uh, venues we go to weekly. So what we try to do is we strive to find uh, steady locations to go to. So at the moment we have uh, the American University of Rome. We have John Cabot University. Uh, it's not a city, but they call us for all their catering, so we're very thankful for that. Then we have uh, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, which is IFAD. We're there once a week. Then we are called by the World Food Program once every uh, week on Thursdays. And then we have the Bistro, the Ristretto Bistro, which is on the Viale Ventino. You have to come and visit us if you have not already. And that's where we uh, um, lean on Thursdays and Fridays, uh, where we provide their lunch. My future with Hummus Town, right now, my, my immediate future plan is to find the kitchen. That is my, I'm looking right, left and center, up, down, everywhere. It's not easy. Uh, I love them in my kitchen. I, I adore each one of them, but I think ultimately they'll be happier, uh, the actual project Mustang will have an outlet which is its outlet. The objective is to have our own kitchen and be on a 24-hour call. I receive emails from America, north of Italy, do you want to open a franchise? Do you wanna... For me, I was like, wait a second, let me open my kitchen here first. I hope it grows. I hope, uh, I hope the, re I mean, it started for refugees. I hope it continues, not, I hope the refugee crisis ends. I hope it can become a source of income for, you know, unlucky people, uh, whether they're Syrian or any other nationality. I mean, this is one feature we've always tried to emphasize. There's so many people in, in need, so there is no limit to who we can help. My classmates and I uh, created like a documentary about Umus Town, which is a project that tires uh, a political refugee of Syria. The Syrian people are very hospitable and what Umus Town does for them is quite inspiring as well. My experience with Umus Town was very enlightening. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, meeting so many different people from different backgrounds. We got to know um, three of them, which uh, told us uh, their stories, their experience, and what brought them to, to Italy. Like enjoyed the process they went through to explain it to us and actually getting to document it and everything was awesome. We learned how to do interviews. I always thought that when you do an interview you have to prepare questions because you're supposed to ask many questions. 
But what we did here instead was ask a few questions and just let the people talk. Right now, if I see a documentary or a movie, I will know all the effort that was put into it, and I would know how to appreciate that. I mean, what was the difficulties? What do you think? The difficulties were that we had to film in many locations. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just studio shooting. So I went to places in Rome I've never been. Same, no. same thing. Right. Yeah, I learned a lot. I learned how to set up a um, white balance. <laughs> I so, and someone is just ruining That's really our important. interview, but it's okay. <laughs> Here's one it's of fun. us. You can come in. <laughs> oh, who's it? Oh. So what are you guys doing? We're talking about Homestown. Do you want to yeah. talk about Homestown? Yeah. Working with Homestown was different for me, in a sense, because I'm used to doing community service, but I never really worked with refugees, people who have like, seen some of the worst things that the world has going on and being able to see them transition from that lifestyle to a newer lifestyle is really, really interesting. And I'm very thankful for um, having met uh, Shaz and Loma and all the interesting stuff that they had to tell, tell us. It was something unexpected for me, but I think for all my classmates, all the classmates were very good doing their job. So in my opinion, we are going to do a very good job. So what was your favorite part of this project? <laughs> My favorite part? Oh yeah, when, when I tried actually the food of Umstown. <laughs> that, that was the best part That's ever. Really yummy. I also want to thank Shaz and Loma for the interviews they, they gave us and for all the very, very interesting things they told us and everything was very nice. <laughs> Voila.